ticket to WrestleMania will be punched tonight when these five women compete. An elimination matchup to determine Rhea Ripley's opponent at the grandest stage for the WWE Women's Championship. Roxanne Perez, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, Becky Lynch, and Asuka, who will be the last woman standing? And who will make their way to Saturday night's main event this weekend as Carmelo Hayes is set to battle Sami Zayn. The winner meets Tommaso Ciampa to determine the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. Certainly each and every week, WrestleMania implications continue to rise in this upcoming matchup here in New Orleans has certainly got a fight brewing between two units. Butch. Ridge Holland looking to settle the score with the Harbinger of Doom carrying cross. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 458 pounds. Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling brutes. Let's take you back to last week here on Raw. Ridge Holland was looking to get a measure of revenge for the Celtic warrior Sheamus who was put on the sidelines, at least for the time being, by carrying Cross a number of weeks ago. Ridge Holland, one-on-one -on -one with Cross's running buddy and Joe Gacy, and as you can see, Ridge the Fridge taking no prisoners with Joe Gacy. Did not care about the victory last week, was simply focused on revenge. Well, now tonight, the Brawling Brutes have challenged Cross and Joe Gacy to a tag team matchup. The situation here is, though, Karrion Cross evidently has told management that Joe Gacy isn't in the building tonight. Gacy and the beatdown that was put on him last week evidently putting him temporarily on the sidelines. Karrion Cross still accepting the challenge. Who is going to be Cross's tag team partner? And this whole situation taking a turn two weeks ago here on Raw. Cross went one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus in a very similar situation. Cross was not out for victory, was simply out to send a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room. This was, of course, stemming right after Cross's loss to Kevin Owens at the Elimination Chamber. Cross putting the hurt on the Celtic Warrior, the leader of that brawling Brutes unit. And this has not sat in well with the Bruiserweight Butch nor Ridge the Fridge Holland. We saw what happened last week, the layover of Cross and his beatdown on Sheamus. That layover, that aftermath, bleeding into Smoothie King Center here in New Orleans, Louisiana tonight. I'll tell you, the road to WrestleMania has been hot and heavy. Tensions are running high, damn near an all-time high here on Monday Night Raw. Carrying Cross, as we mentioned, has told backstage officials that Joe Gacy ain't here but still accepted this challenge. But you got to think that sinister Karrion Cross didn't walk down the aisle tonight for a handicap matchup. There is something brewing in the mind of the Harbinger of Doom. Either way, as Sheamus continues to watch on from home and continues to rest from the beatdown a few weeks ago, I'm sure he is hoping to see Butch and Ridge Holland do one good by him tonight. Nonetheless, it is going to be a big night of action here on Monday Night Raw. WrestleMania implications here, there, and everywhere here on the Red Brand. Well, we kick things off with a certainly tension-filled tag team matchup. But who is Karrion Cross going to fight alongside with tonight? Wait a minute here. Uh, that music's a little... I'm recognizing it. We haven't seen this man on Raw in, in months. Wait just a second. Baron Corbin. We haven't seen Corbin since what, last summer here on Raw. He's been down in NXT since and really has had a resurgence. But what is he doing here on, on Monday nights? And teaming with Karrion Cross at that. From Kansas City, weighing in at 200. I, I, I'm at sorry, I don't mean to cut it, but I just don't understand. Baron Corbin has not been on Monday Night Raw since last summer. He went back down to NXT to try to regroup, rebuild himself. Ditched the whole happy Corbin and the money and this, that, and the other. He get back down to business, and I'll bite. Baron Corbin has done just that, but answering a call from the Harbinger of Doom carrying cross, I mean, uh, it's certainly not something that was on my bingo card coming in New Orleans here tonight. 
Nonetheless, Baron Corbin is back here on the red brand and evidently has decided to fight alongside Karrion Cross. I don't know the relationship. I don't know the history. I don't know if Corbin's got some personal beef with the brawling brutes, but nonetheless, the situation is the situation and we gotta call it as is. Baron Corbin is here in Smoothie King Center and he's teaming up with Karrion Cross tonight to take on the brawling brutes. And the bell has sounded and we are underway. We're kicking things off with that hot-headed wrench the fridge and carrying cross and putting the Baron Corbin situation behind us momentarily. Ridge Holland picking up exactly where he left off seven nights ago. Ridge came out hot against Joe Gacy last week on Raw. Joe Gacy not here because of the beatdown that he received from Ridge the Fridge. Ridge alongside the Bruiserweight, looking to keep that going here tonight. Butch is all over Karrion Cross. These two men, no strangers to each other. Go back about a year ago at this time, Butch was handing Karrion Cross his very first singles loss since returning to WWE. No history, I should say, no shortage of it between these two men, and it's continuing here tonight on Raw as Butch and Ridge Holland have been all over the Sinister Destroyer in Karrion Cross. I'll tell you, man, this situation certainly heating up over the last number of weeks on Raw. Karrion Cross and Sheamus, we talked about it in great lengths. Two men with a lot of history and seemingly always unfinished business. They always find their way back to each other over the last year here on Raw. And Sheamus just finding himself with his back up against the wall and seemingly just finding himself in the wrong whereabouts two weeks ago. Karrion Cross could have been in there with anybody, but he was out to make a statement, and he used Sheamus to do so. Now Baron Corbin getting tagged in, and Corbin gonna look to use the Brawling Brutes to make his name once again here on Monday Night Raw. Certainly a turn of events that we did not expect. We have seen Cross that alliance with Joe Gacy over the last couple of months. It seemingly thought we were going to get that tag team matchup here tonight, but Joe Gacy, Karrion Cross was telling the truth, not in the building tonight. And Cross brought in some certainly unexpected help. Nonetheless, Baron Corbin has really found himself in a career resurgence down at NXT over the last six months and six months and change. Excuse us. And has answered the call of Karrion Cross and finds himself back here on Monday Night Raw tonight. But the brawling brutes don't care if it's Cross, Gacy, Corbin, or anybody in that Monday Night Raw locker room. They are going to keep swinging until they hear a bell. And Baron Corbin, former Golden Glove champion, is going to do the same thing. Ridge Holland taking down the big man. Corbin, no small competitor in there. You see the size difference between somebody like him and the brawling brutes who are not, or especially Ridge Holland, certainly not a small man at that, but Baron Corbin, look at the strength by that man. Well, this is only our first tag team action here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, still to come. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, the number one contenders to the world tag team titles, the Usos, will be in action live here on Monday Night Raw. Their road to WrestleMania continues on, they look forward to a matchup against the Judgment Day at AT&T Stadium, March 2nd and 3rd at WrestleMania. So I think they will be in action, but what about the action we got on hand, live and in living color, here to kick things off. In New Orleans, Louisiana is carrying cross, off the snap suplex, into the cover. Ridge Holland getting the shoulder up. I'll tell you what, as Ridge Holland crawls towards the corner to get some fresh legs in this fight. And Baron Corbin returns to the ring. Brawling Brutes gotta be feeling all different types of emotions. Fired up to get that retribution for their running buddy and the Celtic warrior Sheamus, but trying to remain focused on the task at hand. Not get over as Ellis with anger and frustration towards Karrion Cross. Baron Corbin trying to make these two men pay tonight. Corbin looking to use the Brawling Brutes as a stepping stone in his return to Monday Night Raw. So far, so good. Baron Corbin, every time he has stepped foot in the ring for the majority of it, has been in control. And the cover again, and Butch able to survive. 
Tell you what, Butch and Ridge Holland, tough as nails, as we talked about earlier. They'll fight anybody who is everybody. And now, wait a minute, small package this time, and he almost stole the win over a returning Baron Corbin. Off the kick, and wait a minute, look at the straight Venomunch! Massive maneuver! Down goes Torben into the cover, but he's in enemy territory, carrying cross, not allowing a three count. And Butch starting to unload on the Harbinger of Doom, sending him for a ride over the top rope. The bruiserweight might have cost himself, bearing Torben, trying to get to his feet. Can never take your eyes off the legal competitor and a deep six. The Bruiserweight, down and out, but Baron Corbin's looking for the exclamation point. End of days, Baron Corbin off his Monday Night Raw return, sees victory over the brawling Brutes. Nothing you can do about that. Baron Corbin came in with the X Factor tonight, himself alongside Karrion Cross, and those two men, temporary duo or not, certainly made an effective one. Joe Gacy not here tonight. Karrion Cross found a dangerous replacement in the returning Baron Corbin. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, these two men alongside each other, if this continues, these could be a destructive unit to the rest of the Monday Night Raw locker room. And just imagine when Joe Gacy resurfaced. Danger is afoot here on Raw. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone. And coming your way on Saturday, February 17th, live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown present Saturday night's main event. What twists and turns will take place in the ATL on the road to the grandest stage of them all. Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Monday Night Raw, and all hell has broken loose in Smoothie King Center. Solo Sokoa and the almighty Bobby Lashley, a brawl spilling out from the backstage area and into the middle of the WWE Universe. Well, these two men signed to meet at WrestleMania in that no-holds-barred match, but you see Bobby Lashley sporting taped ribs tonight because of the attack by Solo two weeks ago here on Raw. Lashley was sent off the stage and then Solo with the exclamation point. That's spinning Solo on the concrete floor. Lashley nursing injuries because of that assault. However, here to get a measure of revenge, get his pound of flesh against the street champ. Well, this is a dangerous situation with WrestleMania looming. No holds barred will be the stipulation at AT&T Stadium, but that is the stipulation right now. This is not a match, this is a fight, and I don't know who's gonna get between these two monsters. And Solo trying to avoid that steel chair. Lashley does not want to wait for WrestleMania. Oh no! Bobby Lashley sending Solo down to the concrete, making Solo feel the same pain Lashley felt two weeks ago, and I'm sure is still feeling healed tonight. That chair driven right into the lower spine of the street champ. Lashley not looking to wait for WrestleMania. Oh no, Solo Sokoa through the table. Bobby Lashley exploding onto the scene here in New Orleans tonight. Well, if what we have seen over the last few weeks is any kind of idea what we will be in for, WrestleMania is gonna be a doozy. The Almighty, the Street Champ, Bobby Lashley and Solo Sokoa. These two men have been at each other's throats since October, and it finally comes to a head once and for all in a no holds barred match on WrestleMania Sunday. Oof. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to refocus. We got an Intercontinental Championship Eliminator on hand. The winner of this matchup gonna be on their way to Saturday night's main event. 
this weekend in the ATL to decide who goes on to fight LA Knight for the Intercontinental Gold at the grandest stage of them all. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Trick Williams from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Let us take you back to last week and the first matchup in the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator, the big strong boy Tyler Bate and the black heart Tommaso Ciampa leaving it all inside the squared circle and a stellar performance on both sides of the ring. In the end, Tyler Bate, Tyler Bate ever impressive, but unfortunately for him, Tommaso Ciampa was just the better man. As you will see, the attempt with the fairy tale ending, the second one delivered in the contest, was all that Ciampa needed to make his way to Atlanta this Saturday night. Ciampa awaits the winner of this contest between Carmelo Hayes and Sami Zayn with an Intercontinental Championship opportunity at WrestleMania hanging in the balance. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. Well, Sami Zayn has been laser focused on becoming the Intercontinental Champion since the fall here on Monday Night Raw. He has ran it with LA Knight before. It was back on Halloween night when Raw emanated from Dublin, Ireland. And Sami Zayn pushed LA Knight to his absolute limits on that night, but the defiant champion unfortunately was just the better man. Sami Zayn has scratched and clawed to try to earn another opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship. There has been a couple of wrinkles in the road. Sami Zayn has ran in to Solo Sokoa. He has ran into other superstars, chasing Intercontinental Championship opportunities. But now Sami Zayn finds himself with the ultimate opportunity. One of four, now three superstars that competes in the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. Sami looking to make it two superstars. Well, here we go. High stakes, high reward. Here in New Orleans, Louisiana on Monday Night Raw, Zayn and Carmelo locking horns for the first time ever. Zayn going for the pinfall early, not to be denied, is Carmelo Hayes. Remember what happened just a few weeks ago? LA Knight victorious over our truth here on Raw, and Sami Zayn marched his way down the aisle, stepped right into the squared circle, and went face to face with the Intercontinental Champion. Zayn reminding LA Knight what Zayn's story has all been about over the last couple of months, retracing his steps back to becoming the number one contender. However, Sami Zayn, as we mentioned, not the only one who is eyeing up an Intercontinental title matchup on the grandest stage of them all. Maso Ciampa making his way through Tyler Bate, the Blackheart, now awaits the winner of this matchup at Saturday Night's Main Event this weekend. And I'll tell you, no matter who wins this contest between Melo and Sami Zayn, I will put my money right now on Tommaso Ciampa possibly being the favorite. Remember back in the fall in that deadly games eliminator to go on a Survivor Series and challenge for the WWE Championship. Tommaso Ciampa outlasted that eliminator and won the finals at Saturday night's main event against the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Lightning may be striking twice this weekend, and whether it's Zayn or Mello, Champa's gotta be going in the favorite. And it may be Mello as he soars over the top rope. All speculation, but Carmelo Hayes not looking to find out if his Intercontinental Championship aspirations will fizzle out here tonight or this weekend, Melo's looking to get through Sami Zayn, get through Tommaso Ciampa, and head towards a matchup with the Megastar. Sami Zayn came out hot in the opener, but Carmelo Hayes turned this matchup on its head. We have talked about in great lengths, Carmelo Hayes and even Trick Williams at ringside, two future pieces of really the top top positions, if you will, here on Monday Night Raw. Melo's gonna be a future main eventer, no doubt about it, but he's gotta start getting the Ws in these big time matches. Sami Zayn trying to flip the switch on Carmelo Hayes. Wait a minute, first 48 delivered. Melo with the double knees, and that is a huge maneuver in the early going of this matchup. Sami Zayn feeling it right on the button. Melo needed a Anything to get him out from that back against the wall position. Sami Zayn was unloading. Melo went to the book. 
with one of his best maneuvers and there Sami Zayn doing the same big time exploder Zayn scaling the ropes and dropping the elbow Carmelo Hayes in recent weeks you go back to the day one edition of Monday Night Raw on January the 1st Melo went toe to toe in a great matchup with the rated R superstar Edge. He tore it up with CM Punk in Los Angeles, California a number of weeks ago as well. The 2v2 matchup, Melo and Trick versus Punk and Nakamura. Carmelo has hung with some of the best of them, but he needs to start, start scoring the pinfalls. And Sami Zayn, I'll tell you, not looking for that to start tonight. Little bit of hesitation there. Goes for the crossbody. Carmelo Hayes, the younger, possibly more agile at this stage superstar. One step ahead of the veteran. Carmelo Hayes better keep his eye on the ball because Sami Zayn will make him pay. Here we go. Melo getting dropped on the apron. Never count out Sami Zayn. He has made a career out of being the ultimate underdog, and he will do so again if need be. Dropping Mello right on the apron, or excuse me, right on the barricade that time. Doing that maneuver right after falling on the apron. That's just adding insult to injury. Those maneuvers gonna start to stack up, I'll tell you. Mello back inside the squared circle where Sami Zayn is awaiting him. Mello in trouble right now, being brought to the top rope, not by will, but by force. Zayn going for a little Frankensteiner, and it lands flush, and oh, wait a minute here. You had to know this was gonna happen eventually. Trick Williams taking Sami Zayn's eye off the ball, and it pays Mello dividends. Trick Williams continues to get involved, continues to stick his nose where it doesn't belong, and that may be the X Factor that awards Carmelo Hayes a position in this weekend's Eliminator Finals. Not just yet, but definitely Sami Zayn has got to keep his eye on Trick Williams at ringside. Zayn in the corner and Melo making him pay. We could be seeing the coming out party of the Trick Melo gang before our very eyes. If Carmelo Hayes can get through Sami Zayn tonight, get through another veteran, Tommaso Ciampa, on Saturday. Melo will be on his way for a one-on-one -on -one first time ever meeting against the megastar, L.A. Knight, for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. And look at this, blown over DDT. That's a knockout blow any day of the week and twice on Monday. Carmelo Hayes starting to unload right now. Sami Zayn is in trouble. And now Melo's going up, and he could be looking for that slam dunk. Melo could be looking to take things home all the way to the elevator finals. But Sami Zayn has not fought month in and month out to try to earn another championship opportunity to see it go by the wayside. Melo center over the top rope. Sami Zayn trying to create some distance. And as he makes his way back inside between the ropes, Zayn is there with waiting arms. Oh, here we go. Blue Thunder Bomb. We have seen that maneuver put superstars away in the past, but Carmelo Hayes not to be denied just yet. Who is going to Saturday night's main event? This weekend, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. Tommaso Ciampa made his way through the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, last week. An incredible matchup, one we will not soon forget. Zayn and Carmelo Hayes looking for the same result. Melo center the corner. Sami Zayn, Huluva kick! And Zayn going for the cover. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Trick Williams is up on the apron. The referee's back is turned. Trick Williams trying to play X Factor once again. Finally into the cover, but Carmelo Hayes, of course, had plenty of time to recuperate. Man, Sami Zayn had it right there. Trick Williams, once again, sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Sami Zayn gonna try to rally, but well, maybe that was his best opportunity. Carmelo Hayes saved by his running buddy in the Trick Mellow Gang. 
Oh, man, I don't know. I don't like this situation for Sami Zayn right now. He's doing his best to keep his foot on the gas pedal. Going to the outside with a tope suicida. Carmelo Hayes down and out. Oh, wait a minute. Sami Zayn said, I'll do something about this myself. Sending Trick Williams right to the barricade. Oh, that gave time for Melo to recuperate. Sami Zayn is literally stuck between a rock and a hard place here tonight, doing all he can to try to finally earn his Intercontinental Championship opportunity, and he is fighting an uphill battle. Trick Williams trying to do anything he can, distract the referee, distract Sami Zayn, throwing a damn steel chair to the ring, as if that need is needed in this case. And again, this is absolutely ridiculous. Get Trick Williams away from ringside. Sami Zayn hit a second Huluva kick, but Sami has had enough. He's going after Trick once more and dropping him right on the hardest part of the ring. Melo playing a game of cat and mouse with Sami Zayn, but meanwhile, Trick Williams, I think, has finally bit off more than he could chew and the referee's tossing Trick out of here. Well, Sami Zayn seeing the casualty, but he may have just become one off a second, first 48. A lot of action to keep up with in this Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. Back and forth, who will be the victor? Sami Zayn or Carmelo Hayes? Sami Zayn has thrown his best shot not once but twice. Trick Williams the reason this matchup progresses on. Trick has finally been thrown out. Long time coming if you ask me. But it may be too late. Carmelo Hayes, the aggressor at the current moment, may be making his way to Saturday night's main event. Sami Zayn down, Sami Zayn out. Carmelo Hayes looking to put the final nail in the coffin of this Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. Scaling the ropes again. Looking to go high risk, high reward. Melo does miss that time. The slam dunk nowhere to be found. Carmelo Hayes was looking to throw his best shot. Sami Zayn rejected him at the rim. And now a third Huluva kick. Melo got to be knocked out cold. Wait a minute. Referee did not see Melo's hand on the ropes. Well, we, we got to check the replay here. Carmelo Hayes, after eating three Huluva kicks, still somehow had some life left in him, reached out, grabbed the ropes to no avail. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess bad luck catching up to Melo. Sammy. Well, I'll tell you what, when the referee checks the tape back, and so does Carmelo Hayes, there's going to be an argument behind the curtain. But at the end of the day, decision is final. Sami Zayn picking up the victory here tonight on Raw. And the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator signed and set to be delivered this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Tommaso Ciampa. One on one with Sami Zayn, the winner, making their way to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. WrestleMania is coming your way for not one, but two live premiere events. Saturday night, March the 2nd. Sunday night, March the 3rd. Both of them begin 5 p.m. Eastern time. AT&T Stadium in Dallas. Going to be rocking for the grandest stage of them all. And as we found out this past weekend, the best in the world, CM Punk. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura laid out Punk two weeks ago and set his sights for this collision at WrestleMania. The Usos won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, also earning a shot 
at the World Tag Team Gold, and the gold will be at stake come WrestleMania Saturday when the Usos meet the Judgment Day for the first time ever. It's set to be main eventing on Saturday night in Dallas, Texas. The winner of the Elimination Chamber for not one but two years in a row, Drew McIntyre takes on the ring general, Gunther, for the World Heavyweight title. What about the action signed for Sunday night so far? Speaking of the Elimination Chamber winners, Raquel Rodriguez making her way through Satan's prison, earning an opportunity at Shayna Baszler's Women's World Championship from Friday Night SmackDown. We saw the chaos that ensued earlier tonight. It bleeds into WrestleMania Sunday. No holds barred. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the street champ, Solo Sokoa. This long storied history comes to a head in Dallas. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, the WWE champion, Seth freaking Rollins. These two men square off in the main event at the headliner, the show of shows, WrestleMania. And speaking of the number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles. And at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Ever since the return of Jay and Jimmy Uso, they have been on top of the world here on Monday Night Raw. The only thing left to accomplish is getting through the Judgment Day and once again becoming World Tag Team Champions. They made their way through not one, not two, but three rounds of the Raw side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. They turned away the New Day. They turned away Pretty Deadly. They turned away the Street Profits at the Elimination Chamber. Certainly rightful number one contenders are Jay and Jimmy Uso. Tonight, these two men square off with those Carolina boys and Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes, a tag team that came together in the midst of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And I'm sure looking to capitalize on the opportunity that is afforded to them here tonight in New Orleans. Certainly a victory over the number one contenders could remind the world that Cedric and Cameron Grimes here to stay and could easily put them in line for future tag team championship opportunities after we get through WrestleMania. All remains to be seen tonight for the Usos about one thing, keeping their momentum strong. They have came back and they have been at their best, turned away some of the best. And certainly Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes knew this whole tag team field, but some great athletes individually bringing those talents together and certainly a team that the Usos could be underestimating here tonight on Raw. Obviously a lack of experience, but certainly not a lack of toughness between those two Carolina Bulls. Nonetheless, Jimmy and Jey Uso, as we mentioned, all about keeping their momentum strong on the road to WrestleMania. They meet the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, the two-time World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. Cedric Alexander, I'll tell you, been all over Jimmy Uso so far since the opening bell. Oh, and turning his sights to Jay. Cedric and Cameron out to get theirs here tonight. A tag made to Grimes. Jay's down, Jimmy's down. He said the Usos can't underestimate these two superstars tonight. What they lack in tag team experience, they may, may make up for in toughness and agility. Cameron Grimes now the legal competitor, going after Jimmy Uso full force. The Uranagi almost sends him through the canvas. And the cover he goes, and Jey Uso fired up after getting knocked off the apron, making sure this matchup is not over with just yet. Now Jimmy just trying to get back into this thing. Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander, the aggressor so far. Jimmy sending Grimes into the enemy territory, and the Usos looking to show why they are one of the greatest tag teams to ever do it. Tag made the Jay. Jay. Soar it through the sky with an Uso splash in the early going. Pinfall scenario. Cameron Grimes could be down, not just yet. We saw what the Judgment Day are capable of. A reminder of that. Seven nights ago here on Raw when they turned away Brutus and Julius of the Creed Brothers. 
Those two young men, another bright young team here on Raw, certainly with a great future ahead of them, but the Judgment Day showing why they are among the best, showing why they have really taken force over Monday Night Raw over the last year. Look at Priest and Balor, the World Tag Team Champions. Rhea Ripley, the WWE Women's Champion. The newest recruit, Dominic Mysterio, who's been hanging around Rhea as of late. Certainly don't like that situation. Nonetheless, the Judgment Day possibly better than ever, but are the Usos meeting them in the middle at WrestleMania? Big time super kick. And Grimes still alive, but you can't tell me the damage hasn't been done. Jay Uso landed it right on the jawline of his opponent here tonight. Oh, and Cameron Grimes dishing it right back. But still, enemy territory. You think Jimmy Uso is going to let that slide? You got another thing coming. But Grimes, foot on the gas pedal and also on the chest of Jay. And once again, things getting broken up. But Cameron Grimes throwing some of his best offense just to try to turn the tables of this matchup tonight. Now Jay dropping Cameron Grimes right back in Uso territory. This could be ball game going for the Samoan drop. Grimes had it scouted. Man, here we freaking go with another Uranagi. Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander looking for their coming out party as a tag team tonight. Two men who, as we mentioned, came together in the midst of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And a solid performance against Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly did not make it out of the first round, but now looking to stick it to the Usos on their road to WrestleMania. Big reversal there by Jay, and a Samoan drop. Cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. This time it's Cedric Alexander winning the race to the finish line. Back and forth, Jay and Grimes throwing some live rounds over the last few minutes. All for tag team momentum. And that is how you bring the momentum to a screeching halt. Jimmy tagged in, double super kicks. Cedric Alexander looking to be the fresh competitor. However, Jimmy Uso with different plans. Cedric getting tagged in, not going the way that the Carolina tag team may have liked. And the ropes they go, and Jay and Jimmy, all types of fired up. Uso, as we talked about at the Elimination Chamber when they are battling the Street Profits in the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. One of the best tag teams to ever do it. Talking about how for the last number of weeks they've really put on a master class in tag team wrestling, show why, showing why they're among the best. And why they are number one contenders for the tag team titles. Jimmy Uso looking to send another reminder to Damian Priest and Finn Maller. Backing it up into the corner, but Cameron Grimes still with some legs underneath of him. I'll tell you, Jay and Jimmy, they may be hot right now ever since their return to Monday Night Raw, but they're getting a fight here tonight. And win, lose, or draw, they run in to one of the most dominating tag teams in Raw history at WrestleMania, and their tone may change for the worse come the show of shows. Tag back to Cameron Grimes. Jimmy Uso with his back up against the wall to the corner. I do not like this situation, but Jimmy Uso fighting his way out by any means necessary. Oh, and Cedric with a four on the Jimmy. Gonna watch his tails, Cameron Grimes now. All these men throwing live rounds. Gotta respect the hustle of Cameron and Cedric trying to do anything they can to throw off the game plan of Jay and Jimmy, the experienced team. Cedric Alexander better watch his back as Jimmy Uso over the top rope off the crossbody. Jay and Jimmy not afraid to take things to the air, just like their opponents tonight. And Jimmy to the top. This is how they brought it home at the Elimination Chamber. Uso splash. And the momentum towards WrestleMania continues to be red hot. Jay and Jimmy continue to turn away 
each and every team that steps to them on Monday Night Raw on top of their game, possibly the best they've ever been. Will they ride that momentum into the show of shows on WrestleMania Saturday? Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, the Street Profits, ambushing the Usos. What the hell is this about? The Usos, full head of steam to fight the Judgment Day at the show of shows. They could not have been expecting Dawkins and Ford to attack them from behind. We need some answers out of the Street Profits. Clearly unfinished business between these duos. The road to WrestleMania doesn't slow down for anyone. And coming your way on Saturday, February 17th, live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown present Saturday Night's Main Event. What twists and turns will take place in the ATL on the road to the grandest stage of them all. Find out on the 17th of February, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time at WWE Saturday Night's Main Event. And a massive all-star collision from Monday Night Raw signed for this Saturday night as the Royal Rumble match winner Kevin Owens teams with the best in the world CM Punk to take on the King of Strong Style Shinsuke Nakamura as well as the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins. And of course we will determine LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship challenger for the show of shows when Tommaso Ciampa meets Sami Zayn and the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. All that action and more coming your way this Saturday night in the ATL. And what about next Monday Night on Raw? The almighty Bobby Lashley. We saw him with those taped ribs earlier tonight. Still swinging and taking down Solo Sokoa. Well, next week, he runs into a roadblock. A rematch from several weeks ago as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. Certainly a lot of action on the horizon as the road to WrestleMania continues. And WrestleMania implications continue to weigh heavy on the Monday Night Raw superstars. It is time to decide Rhea Ripley's opponent for the show of shows. The following contest is an elimination match. Making your way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. Oscar! We know at the grandest stage of them all that the Judgment Day's WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley will defend her gold. But which one of these five Raw superstars will stand across from the Eradicator? Rhea Ripley, one way or another, has had run-ins with everybody in this matchup. Whether it was championship or non-title matches here on Raw, Rhea is very familiar with all of her potential opponents for WrestleMania. And of course, just weeks removed from her collision with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka at the Elimination Chamber. A matchup that forced Rhea Ripley to adapt or perish, add to her arsenal, find a way to defeat the Empress of Tomorrow. But you gotta believe if Asuka gets another chance at glory that she's gonna come in with that same mindset, ready to throw Rhea Ripley off of her game to try to win the WWE Women's title. But that is if Asuka can survive this five women elimination contest here tonight in Smoothie King Center. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. The prodigy Roxanne Perez, former NXT Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion as well, has been waiting for her opportunity here on Monday Night Raw. We saw her compete inside the Elimination Chamber. Unfortunately, was the first casualty by hand to the buff Barbie Tiffany Stratton on that night. But another opportunity rears its head as Roxanne Perez, one of five superstars to compete. And what a moment it could be for the prodigy to become the number one contender and go back to her home state of Texas at WrestleMania to challenge Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's title. Easier said than done, but don't count out a woman who has held championship gold 
around these parts before. And that includes a former women's champion in her own right. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Well, I don't know if anybody is more focused on getting in the ring once more with Rhea Ripley than Liv Morgan. Liv has been determined to get another chance at the Nightmare ever since she fell and I'll bite embarrassing fashion at the Royal Rumble. Rhea dominated Liv in Las Vegas, Nevada on January the 7th. Liv took a few weeks away, rested, recuperated from the beatdown, laid out Rhea Ripley at the Elimination Chamber and has made her sights clear. WrestleMania, not WrestleMania. Monday Night Raw, no matter the case, Liv wants to run it back with Rhea Ripley, but tonight is the chance to either put up or shut up and become the number one contender. And from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Another young superstar here on the red brand. That is Tiffany Stratton, the buff Barbie herself, and another former NXT Women's Champion. Tiffany defeated Roxanne Perez days before the Elimination Chamber and then once again eliminated her inside Satan's prison. It was a great showing on that night in Miami, Florida for Stratton herself, but tonight, as we mentioned for Liv Morgan, a chance to put up or shut up. Tiffany's been waiting for her spotlight. Certainly the biggest one she could see is at WrestleMania when the WWE Women's title could be on the line. Easier said than done, but you got four challengers and only one opportunity hanging in the balance. A woman who knows Rhea Ripley extremely well, looking for a trilogy fight at the grandest stage of them all. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch has been laser focused on getting inside the squared circle for the WWE Women's Championship once more. She ran into Rhea Ripley back in October at Clash at the Castle. In November at, or excuse me, in November at Survivor Series, not Saturday Night's main event, that's this weekend. But Becky Lynch has been inside the squared circle with the Nightmare before. Neither opportunity went the way of the man. But Becky Lynch looking, as we said, for the trilogy fight, looking for the three-peat, and looking to go to the grandest stage of them all, where she has found success many a times in the past run it back with Rhea Ripley and become WWE Women's Champion. All five of these women highly motivated and all with their own personal stories, all with their own wills and desires to fight the Eradicator. But that opportunity goes to one and only one. And who will that last woman standing be? We find out as the bell has sounded and we are underway in your main event. Smoothie King Center, New Orleans, Louisiana. Action's been hot and heavy in the squared circle tonight on the road to WrestleMania. No count outs, no disqualifications, pinfall or submission. The only way to be eliminated in this matchup. Last woman standing on their way to Dallas. Becky going for the early elimination here. Gonna take a lot more to keep these women down. Got Tiffany Stratton, Roxanne Perez, Becky Lynch, who are the three Raw superstars that competed inside the women's elimination chamber. Could have punched their ticket to WrestleMania on that night, unfortunately for them. That opportunity goes to Raquel Rodriguez on Friday Night SmackDown to fight the women's world champion, Shayna Baszler, on WrestleMania Sunday. And he got Liv Morgan, as we mentioned. He returned moments after Asuka had her opportunity against Rhea Ripley. And Liv looking to run it back with Rhea at WrestleMania. So much history between all these women, not just with Rhea, but with themselves. Liv Morgan last May turned away the Empress of Tomorrow, really ended the reign of terror, if you will, on top of the women's division that the Empress of Tomorrow was leading. We got Becky Lynch again going back for another early elimination here. Going for the disarmor early, but way early, I'd say. Tiffany Stratton a lot more left in the tank. Be a lot of action to keep up with as we mentioned no count outs in this contest becky lynch and all over the ring so far 
Wait a minute, Roxanne Perez. She's got a steel chair looking to take out the Empress of Tomorrow. Well, the prodigy of Monday Night Raw looking to leave no stone unturned. Not looking to see this opportunity go up in smoke. Action in the IOA, action inside the square circle. I am sure wherever Rhea Ripley is in Smoothie King Center tonight, she has got her eyes locked to the monitor to see who she is going to be standing off with at Mania. Liv Morgan almost eliminating Becky Lynch off the double knees that time to no avail. Meanwhile, you got Roxanne, Tiffany, and Asuka who are literally fighting in the aisle way here on Monday Night Raw. Will no go through each other by any means necessary to make their way to WrestleMania and Tiffany Stratton face first off the ramp. Roxanne Perez coming in with an edge tonight. Absolutely, as she muscles up Asuka. We go for a power bomb on that chair, but Asuka able to avoid disaster. But dishes it right back to Roxanne with the belly to belly. Meanwhile, you got Liv, Tiffany Stratton, the man Becky Lynch inside the squared circle, all fighting tooth and nail to become the number one contender. Liv Morgan stacking up Becky Lynch, going for the elimination here, not just yet. Pinfall or submission inside the squared circle. The only way we're going to see some casualties in this matchup. Three former women's champions inside the ring right now. And two up-and-comers of the red brand. And Roxanne Perez and Tiffany Stratton duking it out. As Roxanne Perez again instituting a steel chair into this matchup. Roxanne Perez showing a different side of her tonight. Not to sound like a broken record, but not looking to leave any stone unturned on the road to WrestleMania. It's now or never for all five of these women. And speaking of Perez, she is all tied up by Asuka right now. Asuka locks locked in. All these women are going for these big time maneuvers in the early going, and I don't know if enough damage has been done. Meanwhile, Stratton getting close to an elimination there, but Becky Lynch able to pop the shoulder off the canvas. Every time we see Becky inside the squared circle, her story well documented, wanting that three-peat with Rhea Ripley, believes the third time could be a charm. Not if any of these women have anything to say about it, including the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who just laid down Liv Morgan with that hip attack. And lefts and rights being thrown, steel chairs already instituted, and all these women throwing some of their best tricks in their arsenal. Only the means to make their way to AT&T Stadium. And while Tiffany Stratton, eyes locked on Roxanne Perez. Stratton could be looking for that picture-perfect mood salt. Says otherwise, knowing Becky Lynch was creeping up on her, but she gets caught with the steal. Now it's Asuka, muscling down Becky Lynch once more. The two women who fought for the WWE Women's Championship last year at WrestleMania. Becky Lynch is gone. That Oscar lock, as deadly as ever, and the man Becky Lynch will not be getting the trilogy fight at the show of shows. Eliminated by hands of Oscar, we are down to four. Roxanne Perez taking down Oscar. Liv taking down Stratton on the steel chair that time. Thought we were going to have an elimination. Oscar able to survive. Here comes Liv Morgan, full head of steam, double knees to the buff Barbie herself. Can we get our second casualty? Not just yet. This five-woman fair becomes a four. Two former women's champions here on Monday Night Raw, two former NXT women's champions. Technically three, but you get the, get the memo. Oh man, Liv Morgan dropping Asuka with a big time DDT at ringside. Becky Lynch, you see her making her way back to the locker room. Not the way she won in her championship pursuit to WrestleMania to end tonight. Oh, wait a minute, Liv stacking up Asuka. Going for the pinfall here, and Asuka's gone. Meanwhile, Roxanne Perez with a huge maneuver on Tiffany Stratton, right on the chair. Double casualties, back to back. Liv gets one, Roxanne won, and we are down to two. Liv Morgan, the woman who has been on the tail of the Eradicator, 
the prodigy Roxanne Perez, a woman who has been waiting for her breakout moment here on the red brand. One of these superstars will challenge the Eradicator at WrestleMania. And that was huge moments ago. Liv Morgan able to eliminate Asuka. Roxanne with that huge sunset flip. Looked like a code red, I believe, onto the steel chair to eliminate Tiffany Stratton. It's going to be very interesting to see who is going to get the best of this war being waged between the Prodigy and Liv Morgan. Look at Perez. Look at the strength. Big time power bomb and stacks her up with it. One step closer to WrestleMania, but not just yet. Roxanne turning her sights to that steel chair and Liv want none of it. Perez coming in with an edge tonight. Looking to use anything she can to find her way to the show of shows. It ain't very breaking the rules tonight. It's using them to your advantage. Steel chair in hand, but Liv Morgan at all costs looking to avoid disaster. Going for that float over on the chair. Roxanne avoids it this time. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings, and now Liv delivers the double knees. Not going for the cover just yet. Liv looking to put the final nail in this matchup. Face first, there goes Roxanne off the canvas. But not to be denied is Roxanne Perez. Shoulder up after a combination of Liv's best strikes. Down goes Perez, but the prodigy looking for her breakout performance. The heart is still pumping, and the will to go to WrestleMania lives on. And a counter by Perez, getting Liv off her tail, and that chair is just dangerously looming near the center of the squared circle. Once again, Liv trying to go low. Roxanne Perez had it scouted, neither of them getting what they wanted off those strikes. And now it's Liv instituting a flurry of fire. Roxanne Perez dazed up against the ropes. Liv Morgan. Oh man, picture perfect. Face first off the steel chair. And Liv Morgan punches her ticket for WrestleMania. Well, I'll tell you, credit where it's due. The prodigy Roxanne Perez is going to be a problem in the women's division one day, but tonight belongs to Liv Morgan. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. She has been on the tail of the Eradicator for the last few weeks, but can Liv Morgan write a different story than what we saw at the Royal Rumble? Liv was embarrassed in Las Vegas, but now in Dallas, Texas at the show of shows, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, round two for the WWE Women's Championship. When I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.